Hi guys, it's that time again. Which is better? Now, before I, I continue, I just wanted to share an, an announcement, and that is that my Instagram page now has 900 followers. So, even if you, so if you, if you're curious to see what band merch I got, what band merch I have that's in my collection the link will be in the description down below for you to go and check out but in this edition of which is better it will be a Sacramento special and I'm going to be looking at the coming of chaos and far away from the sun and I will be leaving links in the description down below to check out songs by Dark Funeral and even a link to check out my Twitter page there you get to see what songs I'm listening to on a daily basis. So without further ado, let's get into this. So looking at the album, Far Away From The Sun, a few years were better for black metal than 1996. Bands like Il John, Falcon Back, both ugly, you could say reached their creative peaks. And quality albums emerged from bands like Al Sharp Become, Blotus Nord, Avzia, and Nocturnal Morton. And if that wasn't enough, Summoning's Dogodor album was also released and it's still held as a triumphant masterpiece 10 years on. If Black Metal was on fire, then 90, the year 1996 would have been a veritable feast. With that in mind, it's very easy to leave that Sacramento himself to sell with the sole intention of spoiling, just spoiling our silly. And this album is a crowning achievement. This album is an ambiguous, dense piece and just full of subtlety. Now, very little sticks out at first, and the first few parts which do initially grab one's attention end up being the least interesting and long lasting. The perfect, glossy production allows everything to come together effortlessly into a meditative ambience, a hypnotic dream, causing time to virtually cease existing during a focused listen. Of course, the album is centered around fantastical journeys across mystical landscapes, out of time and out of consciousness, dreams and memories and ideals, paradoxically shown to be ways in which reality requires meaning. Sacramentum allow that which is used beyond consciousness to infiltrate it. They bridge the gap and the result is truly inspirational. The dreams resonate with passion and wonder and going beyond the limits of the world and uncovering all of its majesty. You can't just help but fearlessly embrace all that has been presented with such freedom of mind and such possibility. This band expresses an almost childlike joyfulness upliftingly lie in the purest of senses despite conjuring images of the sun's ab absence or impending or impending absence celestial harmonies surge and glide like shooting stars across the night sky blending into one another as if colors in especially beautiful sunset the very growls flow all over the top like the moon reflection upon a nightly seas such tranquil images are undeniable despite the frantic drumming growls and soaring guitars a twinkling light is shone upon everything that was once dark and with such peaceful appreciation that the light is impossible not to be swept away by the band's vision. Voicing themes of eternal and yet acutely aware of not only the future's endless possibilities but the inspiration for the future provided by the past. Sacramento play with time as if it was built around their rhythm. This album is in fact powerful when nostalgia and hope are merged into one. The emotion becomes almost palpable halfway through the album with the theme mostly clearly occurs. Infectious and moving beyond words. We voice from the past will follow me until the day I die. Looking back to the best move forward, lying in, the, lying in darkness, dreams in reality, tranquility in, cha in chaos. So many of life's paradoxes, all beautified with flowing ease. This is the online power of this album. Each and every complicated and troublesome aspect of the world is made simple, beautiful, and all that fear just drifts away. All discomfort is forgotten. All that remains is the tranquil content of having fully opened one mind to the wonders of life in all its guises. So switching gears, we're gonna look at the coming of chaos. 
at times this is almost almost up there with the first album it's all there the purpose sense of melody the flowing almost ambient melodies wooded with technical precision and ever so subtle i made an influence in ways this has a leg up on its predecessor with something that that could take you just by surprise thrash riffs and i'm all for them in adding slightly more death metal to their sound they threw in a few awesome counterpoint riffs that complement the trailer riffs very nicely like in the first two songs <coughs> now this isn't to be confused with the band disaster worth checking out as well there aren't that many riffs as closely to classify this as black thrash however enough of these counterpoint riffs were used as were used just to keep the album interesting and i'm not complaining there's pseudo whispering muttering passages in the song dream death which come to mind they seem to dominate their soundscape instead of incorporating with the music i did say that there was an iron maiden influence and this crops up from time to time as the mercifully rare goffenberg riff it's not done the done best but at least it's isn't sonic abuse there are good melodies at work here they're still a pretty solid background on, underneath these riffs more so than arch enemy but still a sort of musical regression the highlight of this album is as obsidian because of the strong rift it contains including while time pauses watchtower and aforementioned spoken parts in the former the song of this of time sounds like it could have been on the last album the blast beats are well placed and don't threaten to overpower anything the quiet the choir in the song black destiny also goes great too overall this is a good record not quite up there with um the first album but it's still worth looking into so there you have it let me know in the comments down below what you thought was the better album other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you next time